It's Thursday, March 13th, 2014. I'm David Pierce, and despite Austin's best effort, I made it out without a single barbecue stain on my shirt. Dreams do come true. This is 90 Seconds on The Verge. For the first time ever in the US, Amazon is raising the price of its Prime membership to $99 a year, up 20 bucks from what it's been for nearly a decade. While no new services are being added, Amazon is citing Prime's increasingly substantial offerings as reason for the jump, including more items eligible for free shipping and the addition of Amazon's instant video service. The price change goes into effect on April 17th, so you've still got a few weeks left to renew at the cheaper price. Actually, I should do that now. Apple just released iOS 7.1 this past Monday, so that's old news. Let's talk about iOS 8. A pair of screenshots posted to a Weibo account today were reportedly confirmed by 9to5Mac. In them, we see the icon for a new HealthBook app, which is said to track your vitals and supposedly sync up with the oft-rumored Apple smartwatch. The screenshots also show placeholder icons for new text edit and preview apps. It's an unusually early time to see iOS screenshots, which is likely to be unveiled this summer. Siri getting on my case over fluctuations in my weight is just what I need. And finally, voiceover artist Hal Douglas has died at the age of 89, and while you may not know him by name, you certainly know the legacy he's left behind. Douglas's legendary voice made him a go-to in Hollywood movie trailers for decades. Those films include Forrest Gump, Lethal Weapon, and Meet the Parents. Paramount Pictures presents The Bad Guys Don't Stand a Chance. Meet the Parents. And that's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, I kiss a complete stranger. But, but we, we know each other. That's okay.